Hi everyone, my name is Eddie, and today I will be presenting a small consulting project that I would do for a company that my best friend works for. So, the idea for this talk came when this friend came to visit me. We've had a few pints, and he basically asked me, Eddie, you're a consultant. How would you improve my team? So, we ended up rambling about this for a couple of hours, and I thought, this is a really, really good topic for a talk. So, here we are. The organization that my best friend works for build VR applications using the Unity framework. They ship them to Oculus, which runs on Android. They do some builds for Windows for testing, use Git for version control, and Atlassian for code storage and project management. The team that my best friend works, for, works in consists of three Unity developers, a 3D artist. There is also a tech leader and a product owner leading that team. And there is lastly a QA, a manual tester who is oftentimes unavailable because they're shared across the organization. This team works in uh, two-week sprints. The tech lead and PO create the tickets. The developers pick them up and implement them. Then they get merged during a merge meeting, which I'll tell you about later on. Don't worry. Then they go through QA, and if all goes well, finally they are released. Well, the tickets. The, brand, uh, sorry, the releases happen every couple of months when contractual features are developed. In terms of branching, pretty simple. You've got feature branches being merged into a release candidate branch, and then the release candidate gets merged into main. So during the development of a specific ticket, the, develop the developer will have to build it. They do it for both Windows and Android. This can take about, about 30 minutes, and it completely blocks the Unity editor. So whenever you do this, you're in for a very long, uh, involuntary coffee break. So some of the questions I had is, what the hell is a merge meeting? And it's basically the tech lead calling the developer to review, merge, build, and test their code. Rem uh, remember, 30-minute process. I said, why not just raise a pull request, review each other's code? Uh, turns out only the tech lead reviews the code. No devs don't do that. So I said, well, what happens when the tech lead's gone? Turns out nothing happens. Completely blocked. Very nice. And expecting a no, I said, well, have you got any automation? And there was none, unsurprisingly. Some other observations. The organization is very much like a startup, fully focused on going to market on their products. Very, very scarce on cash. And tech lead is a massive bottleneck. They may be either reluctant or defensive when it comes to change but they're also our main stakeholder, which is fun. So the approach we're gonna take is we're not going to disrupt their existing processes. We're gonna embed ourselves within the team, build trust with the client and the tech lead, so we're gonna make some small suggestions with big impact, implement them, measure that impact, and if all goes well, present it back to the client, and basically just iterate. So with the initial uh, set of changes, we're looking to reduce the bottlenecking within the team, so bus factor go down, code can be shipped without the tech lead, and we also care, want to improve team efficiency, team efficiency excuse me, through some light automation and more collaboration within the team. I know this is a low-hanging fruit, but going forward, devs will raise pull requests, review each other's code. Tech lead can still take part in this process if they wish to. And we're also going to offload some of the boring parts to a simple uh, CI pipeline, such as testing and building. That way, no merge meetings required. Devs gain, gain, they, devs gain more agency. So on the screen, I thought I'd build a small POC. Uh, for this talk, so you can see a simple pipeline. It runs a Bitbucket because there's Atlassian. We're going to use this to basically test our code, build our code, and expose the build artifacts so that these can be tested asynchronously, further making the meeting useless. As I was doing initial research for that, I came across GameCI, which is an open source tool, sorry, project that offers tooling for Unity devs to automate uh, their builds. We'll be using this to greatly simplify the development of our pipeline. However, a problem arose. This has never been done and documented for Bitbucket, so I had to chuck down a few coffees and basically just get it to work, which fortunately I managed to do so, so open source contribution coming through. This is the final pipeline, so we're gonna run the whole workflow uh, on push and merge for all of the uh, release candidate and the main branch. For feature branches, we're only going to run the tests with the, with the builds available to be kicked off manually if the developer wishes to do so. We've tested this by building the sample app that's provided to us by Unity. The first build took around 70 minutes, 70 minutes, which is quite a lot, but all the subsequent builds had some parts uh, go quicker due to caching, but there were some limitations that were due to how Bitbucket works. Everybody loves it. So with everything implemented, we are looking to see the improvement in the metrics that we wanted to improve in the first place. If all goes well, then they'll take that data, feed it back to the client, and basically just iterate and make more suggestions for uh, just basically just to break down silos and improve you know, uh, how they work. So I appreciate this was a high level overview. You can find the POC, sorry, the, yeah, yeah, the code for the POC by scanning the QR code. You'll have to go through my socials, so pop me a cheeky LinkedIn request if you wish to. 
And yeah, if there's any questions, grab me at the event. I love to chat and thank you for listening. And wow, this was scary. Oh my God.